Hello gorgeous! So today I'm going to give you a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day if you're single. I mean you might not be single and watching this and in that case go away. Okay so the first thing you want to do is get your hair out of your face. For some reason my scalp really hurts. It feels like someone's punched me in the scalp right now and I have no idea why. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face to prepare for makeup. Just put it all over your face and hopefully it'll mattify your ridiculously shiny face. My skin, my face isn't shiny. It's more like sandpaper. My face could probably exfoliate your face. I actually don't have any foundation because I ran out of it and I can't afford to buy any more so I'm just going to use concealer as foundation because that's how it works. Not really, I'm just going to use the concealer in the places I need it. Kind of skip on the foundation. But before you do that, we're going to use corrector. This is by Sleek and this is the concealer and corrector palette. I'm going to use this really tan colour, like orangey colour, because orange is opposite to blue on the colour wheel, which means this will neutralise your bluish dark circles. It does look a little bit stupid right now, but don't worry, I've probably been up all night crying, <laughs> you know, little things. Or up all night watching films on Netflix that will make you cry. The Fox and the Hound 2 gets me right here. So yeah, just pile that on, don't hold back because you're probably really ugly. And then I'm just going to take the powder that comes with it and I'm going to just set it. We are going to cover this up, we don't want it to slip and slide around underneath, so pat it on with a little brush, or a big brush, whatever. You might have a really big area down there. I'm going to use my concealer to conceal everything on my face. I'm going to use it to conceal my face so much that I wouldn't even have a face. Shake it as if you were masturbating, because you're probably doing a lot of that, right? I'm just going to put this on all the areas on my face which need concealing. So pretty much just my whole face. So yeah, and then we're done. This is the whole look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm such a jokester, aren't I? I'm just gonna blend this with a Real Techniques brush and just blend it. Blend it out. When you get to your nose, if you have nose piercings, you're probably gonna get concealer all over them. Just saying. But that's okay, because most people think they shouldn't be there anyway. And then we're just gonna set the all with some powder. So the idea of this is you wanna look better than people in a relationship. So that you can gain a relationship or just be, you know, be a heartbreaker. So I'm gonna contour the shit out of my face because why not? Look how flat my face looks. I need some definition. And by some, I mean a lot. And I do this by going in the hollows of my cheeks on each side. Um, I do it up here because that's where the shadow naturally hits. You can bring it down a bit if you want. Whatever. Do what you want with your life. And then I'm also going to do my nose because it's fat and annoying. I don't worry if it looks unnatural because who needs naturalness? Naturalness, is that a word? Now I'm just going to put on some eye primer. Now for this look, we're going to go for pink because it's Valentine's Day. So, got to keep up with tradition. So I'm just going to apply it all over my lids and just blend. I'm closing both my eyes. Now I just want to go to sleep. I'm going to use a pink eyeshadow pencil because this, this shit's going to get pink as shit. This may look like your eyes have an infection. That's what we're going for. I mean, underneath all this makeup, your eyes are red anyway, from all the crying. In fact, you're happy to be single. I mean, it's so predictable for a single person to be miserable all the time, but you're seriously, you're happy. You're happy alone. You like being alone. Now I'm going to take some really obnoxious pink eyeshadow and I'm going to put that on my lids. I'm going to start out with a lighter colour and put that on the inner part of my eye, right here. And then the same on the other. These are all by LA Colors, by the way. Every color I'm using is probably gonna be from the LA Colors palette. So just, you know, this one, the one I'm using right now is called Lollipop. I'm using the lightest color in that. And I'm just gonna take the color next to it and use that one as well. Which is a bit more of a pinky purple. Bright colors make you look quirky and interesting when you're not. Believe me, I know. And now you need to find your other brush, which you've lost. Where the fuck are you, brush? Trying to hide from me like everyone else. I can't find what colors I'm looking for. This color is by Ben Nye, and it's called Azalea. I'm just going to load that up on my brush, and I'm going to apply that in the crease. Bring it up quite far, because you can be a drag queen. 
Drag Queen's Rock. I just used the word rock. Is this 2009? Who knows? Well, like 2003. Am I right? I saw a Barbie, which was like, it was a footballer Barbie, and I was like, yay, finally. But footballer Barbie was wearing all pink. So that made me less enthusiastic about the whole thing. Now I'm gonna take a purple eyeshadow and I'm just gonna apply that in the outer P. It adds a bit more depth to do this. So what I'm doing is I'm applying it in the outer B and then bringing it into the lash line and then I'm just gonna bring it into like the depths of the crease as well, like so. So I'm gonna apply that there and then Oh, bless you. I mean, bless me. I'm gonna take an even darker color. I'm gonna apply that right in the inner, out of the again. I'm gonna like layer that on top. And it looks good, so who cares? Now it's time for the lower lash line. And for that, I'm gonna add some blue. Because blue is kind of fun. I know this is kind of a sarcastic video, but I genuinely really like this look. So you put dark colour under your eyes, which kind of makes the concealing we did earlier kind of pointless, but whatever. Now I'm going to take a really light white colour and I'm going to use that to highlight to make myself look awake. We need quite a lot of this, don't we? Now I'm going to line my eyes. I can't find any of the things I need to do that. I like to use gel liner and a paintbrush. Um, but you can use whatever you want. My computer's making a funny noise. Shh. It's okay, you're my only friend, don't freak out on me now. Line your eye. Probably get one eye to look really good, and the other eye will look like shit. Now it's time for eyebrows, so let's get our Cara Delevingne on. Brows, 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 I'm not even going to tell you how I do this because a magician never reveals their secrets, although you can definitely tell what I'm doing. I need to sneeze again, but I'm holding back for you. If you notice my eyebrows have a slight pink tinge to them, that's because I have pink eyebrows today, because why not? I would do that now, but there's enough pink in this look already, you know. Now I'm going to do blush, and we're going to take the brightest pink ever. We're just going to shove it all over our face. Not really, I'm going to lightly tap, and lightly apply, and then lightly tap, and lightly apply again, until you have the desired look. I just concealed all of the redness on my face, and I'm pretty much adding that exact same colour back into my face. This doesn't make any sense. Now it's time for the lips, and we're gonna go for a red lip, because red lip says I'm sexy and confident, and this will probably be across my face in a few hours. So I'm just gonna take this Natural Collection lipstick, which is very cheap, but very good. You can hear a dog barking outside. This is why I don't have a dog, because it's so loud. I have cats. A perfect addition to my loneliness. I really should have used a brush for this, but I didn't. So, oops. I either find I look really good or really bad with red lipstick. I don't know what's going on today, but I think, I think the latter. I don't know what the latter means, that can mean either of them. Who knows? Yeah, I'm that dumb. So now it's time to let your hair down and realize it's really greasy. Oh my god, that's greasy. Ignore the fact my hair is greasy. I forgot to wash it for the past four days. Add some volume, you know, do what you want. I mean, I'm gonna go to bed after this, so I'm not really gonna bother. I'm gonna take off my hoodie, because hoodies don't scream sexy valentines. Neither does this green Simpsons t-shirt. Do you like this t-shirt? What's that? That's the sun sphere. Now I'm gonna apply some lip gloss because no one's gonna kiss you, so you don't have to worry. You can have as much red lipstick and gloss as you want. When I apply lip gloss, I always do like a model face in the mirror. I'm like, side note, I saw a man peeing today in public. Really weird. Like, it was weird because I was walking past him and it was in like an alleyway, um, and I looked at him and I was like. You're just standing there up against the wall, and I, I think he knew I knew what he was doing. And then he just peed. And I was like, okay, maybe peeing in public is okay in some situations, because let's be real, it's hard to find a toilet sometimes. But we were literally in the middle of the city centre, so there are toilets fucking everywhere, so I don't know what he was thinking. But the worst part was he looked me in the eye and then just peed. 
I was like, is he peeing? I took off my headphones. He was peeing. Beautiful. How much I love people. So, <laughs> that note, the look is done. So I hope you have a good Valentine's Day. I hope it will be better than the last one. Chill, eat loads of food, have some wine, treat yourself. Because you're worth it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!